Hey guys, this is Nene here. Um, just want to check in with everybody. Um, I had a quick call that came into me this morning and I've had this question um, a couple times now and I said, you know, maybe I should just do a quick video on it and kind of address. Um, I had a customer this morning that called me in reference to, um, they had recently purchased a product. Um, they said, hey, you know, I've purchased a lot of things that say it's going to help your hair grow. It's a lot of things going on right now with different oils and things like that that are being produced and, and I've you know saying it's going to help my hair grow and I've tried it and I haven't seen any results um first I want to address it from two standpoints um when you're talking about products and things that you've tried um as far as hair growth and things like that I don't think that my product is the only product that's going to help your hair grow but I think what it really gets down to is what is your routine what is your regimen what are you using on your hair on a regular basis how often are you washing your hair um, are you doing things like damage control, protein treatments, things like that, um, to reduce the breakage? You know, how are you wearing your hair, your styling? You know, are you doing any protective styles during certain seasons? You know, like when it's cold outside, our hair kind of gets a little more dry, a little more brittle. Are you doing protect protective styling then? You know, and, and um, how are you maintaining your hair under that protective style? You know, so it's a lot of different things we have to take a look at when we're talking about, hey, my hair is not growing um, and why it's not growing. So, let you know, this when you look at that, you know, just keep those things in consideration. Um, but one of the other questions that the young lady, um, asked me this morning was, um, she's on medication and, um, high blood pressure medication. And she noticed her hair has been thinning since she started the high blood pressure medicine. I'm not a doctor. I don't do any type of diagnosis or anything like that. I know my mother's on high blood pressure medicine and she's noticed the same thing as far as her hair thinning. Um, and so that's something I think that's, that could possibly be an issue. Um, like I said, I'm not a doctor, so I don't, you know, I can't really make any claims and say, oh yeah, that's, that's what happens with high blood pressure medicine. I don't know. Um, um, but what I can say is that anytime you're dealing with medication, most medications have some type of side effects, have some things that, you know, affect your body in different ways. Um, and that hair thinning, hair loss with the high blood pressure thing, I think I've heard that before, but I don't know, you know. So, um, but what I advised her is, um, one, look at her routine, um, but definitely as far as the medication, you know, you have to take your medicine. You can't not take it, uh, but just try to do things to try to, um, I guess, build your hair with more resistance um, with like the, the treatments, um, the hair breakage treatments and things like that. Um, trying to use as much natural products as possible, you know, because when you're using medication, that's one thing. But then when you're also putting, you know, stuff with preservatives and artificial things in your hair, that's just adding to it, you know. So all those things have to be taken in consideration. Um, but I, you know, we've had a lot of customers that have said, Hey, you know, I've, I, you know, I've been battling with breast cancer and this is the only product that's really helped me. You know, I've, you know, I'm seeing my hair thicken back up and I've been dealing with alopecia, you know, so it's a variety of things that, um, customers have, um, been excited about as far as the hair boost is concerned. So, you know, I'm going to try to, you know, come in, jump in and answer any questions here and there. As I start to get more and more questions, I get a lot of emails, um, and I think what I'm going to try to do now is just kind of go through and answer the questions via email, but also address those questions via video. And maybe that'll kind of help more people um, overall. So hopefully this helps. Have a great day, guys. Bye bye.